I'm 33 and I've just had the biggest injury in my career last year, uh, ACL, MCL. Um, you know, you, I don't know what the future holds for me. I don't know what tomorrow holds for me. You know, um, your, your head does play tricks with you by saying, oh, I think you just have to retire. But I feel, you know, it's not the end of my career. How people cope with it, you know, and just gradually, day by day, not like all at once, and just, you know, seeing how they are, dropping them a text message or, you know, going out for a coffee with them and just not talking about the injury, but their life in, in, in general. And, you know, you know, you're sitting at home and you're bored and you have no one around and you'll be like, what am I going to do? You know, rather than picking up a, a pint of beer or something, I'd rather, you know, go somewhere where it gives me peace, you know, and for me, my friends think I'm crazy because I'm constantly in the gym. Uh, I don't go to the gym to lift weights. I go because it's my uh, getaway. Um, it's my peace. You know, I'll be sitting on the mat floor for an, an hour just meditating, just thinking about nothing. I get up, I feel good because even though I've wasted that much time, an hour of doing nothing, I feel like I can step out into the world and face whatever comes at me. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it's trying to find, like I said, it's finding your own space to like find positive, like feed positivity into your life rather than, you know, you'll have your neg like negative days and down days, but it's just getting up and keep going because, you know, there's other people in the world that have it worse than you. But like I said, you have to find comfort within yourself to and understand your situation and try and cope with it and everything else will take its place.